Ow. And I'm like, just because I let you do it a year ago, doesn't mean I have to do let you do it now. And then Stephanie, and I can't believe she said this, she goes, okay, Ebenezer. And I'm like, what? And she goes, why don't you lighten up a little? And I'm like, why don't you get hurt and die, you crack hoe from Long Beach? <laughs> Unbelievable, right? Can I have a fry? A small one. Excuse me? If it's a small one, yeah. Ew. I've got clarinet rehearsal tonight until 10. There's no dinner break. This has got to hold me over. Forget it. So anyways, Stephanie, she comes off like this total saint. Why do you do that? Do what? That. What? That, that whole passive aggressive Passive word. aggressive doing what? that you always do so that I end up feeling like the bad guy. <laughs> I seriously have no idea. If you idea. want a fry, take a fry. I don't want one. Do you not want one because you don't want one? Or do you not want one because you want me to feel bad for not wanting you to have one? I don't want one. Can I finish my story now, please? Just take a fry. No. Take a fry. You obviously don't want me to. It's fine if you take a small one. Lindsay, I don't care. Take a fry! Oh my god! <laughs> there. Are we done now? I can't do this. Share food? I agree. No. I mean, I don't think I can do this anymore. What? This. Us. This whole us thing. I don't think it's working out. The friendship. <laughs> what is this, a breakup? Are you breaking up with me? I just think that we're in different places in our lives. <laughs> we want different things. This is the breakup speech. I know that speech when I hear it. You're giving me the speech. Hannah. You're breaking up with me? No, would you stop You're breaking up that? with me over french fries. It's not about the french fries. Then what is it? I don't know. A lot of things. We've been friends since the third grade. Aren't you ready to... To what? To move on. Meet other people. Meet other pe... <coughs> if you want to meet other people, go meet. That's the great thing about friends. You can have more than one. That doesn't work for me. That's how it works for everybody. Yeah, well, I'm very particular about who I hang out with. I can only deal with about five acquaintance friends and one really good friend. I don't have the energy for anything else. You know that I'm like this. I don't know why you're so surprised. I thought I was your really good friend. You were. But honestly, lately when we're together, I just feel like... What? Like we're two ships sailing in the night. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it means that you and I are two ships. And it's night. Yes, I get that. And we keep sailing right past each other. Isn't that better than crashing into each other? <laughs> it's a metaphor. I don't get it. That's my point. You don't get me. I don't get you. You talk about things that I really don't care about. And I definitely talk about things that you don't care about. I care about the things you talk about. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You think I'm boring? No. You think I'm boring? No, you're not listening. Yes, I am. I'm listening to you call me boring. No, Hannah, there's a difference between you being boring and you just saying things that I 
I don't find interesting. Well, if I'm being uninteresting, you can say something. No, I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Why not? Because I would be saying something all the time. That was really mean. I'm sorry. That was really, really mean. I'm being honest. Yeah? Well, you're also being a bitch. How's that for honesty? Enjoy your freedom. Wait, how to wait? How to sit down. And sit down, please. Before we leave here today, there's a few things that I need to get in writing. I've compiled some notes here. They're more bullet points, actually. I was thinking that we could both go over them and sign at the bottom. Is this a joke? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. It's... I'm not signing anything, but... No, it's stupid. I feel this is the best. I don't give a shit what you Look, feel. Look, I know things about you. Are you threatening me? No. You know things about me, too. Okay, so it's in both of our best interests to just settle this on paper. You're serious. Yes. You really want to do this. Yes. You want to add yet another layer of insanity to this whole thing. Well, I wouldn't call it that. No, no, no. You want to do it? Let's do it. First of all, I want all my stuff back from you, right? My Nora Jones CD. My copy of Pride and Prejudice. My green top. My magic eight ball. You gave me the magic eight ball. I lent you the magic eight ball. You just never gave it back. You never asked for it. I've had it for three years. Better late than never. Fine. And just so we're clear, I don't want you saying anything about me to other people. Fine. I don't want you saying anything about me either. Fine. And you know what? I don't want you telling the Joey Feinberg story anymore. What? Why? Because it's my story. Yeah, but I always tell that story. It's a good story. It's a great story. And you butcher it every time you tell it. I do not. <laughs> Lindsay, you could find a lottery ticket on the street Win a million dollars, get kidnapped by Col Colombian drug lords and held for ransom. Go on Oprah to tell the whole world about it. And you'd still make it the most boring, yawn-inducing story ever. You have a knack for it. That's so mean. It's the truth. The only reason I let you tell the Joey Feinberg story is because, well, you're my friend. But if we're not friends anymore, you can't tell the story. Well, then you can't tell the Lake Mead story. What sense does that make? If I can't tell the Joey Feinberg story, then you can't tell the Lake Mead story. <laughs> Excuse me, the Joey Feinberg story happened to me and Joey Feinberg. It's my story. And the Lake Mead story happened to both you and me. So it's 50% mine by rights, and I'm saying I don't want you telling it. It's 50% mine, too. Well, then take your 50% of it. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I'm serious. Only talk about that stuff that happened to you. Leave me out of it. Fine. And you can't tell anybody what I told you about my parents. OK. Promise me. I promise. I'm writing it down. See? But for the record, I can date Tommy now. What? Once we sign this, all's fair. Does that mean I can date Adam? Yeah, sure, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> all right.
You can't tell anybody I'm seeing a therapist. You can't tell anybody I'm seeing a therapist. anybody that I kissed Rachel Bumgarner at that party. You kissed Rachel Bumgarner? Wait, you didn't know? No! Oh my god, I cannot believe I just told you that. So what happened? You have to tell me. It was so crazy. I can't think of anything else to put down. Actually, I have one more thing. What? Neither of us can eat here. Ever. No way. We can't or I won't sign. Why? Because Blueberry Hill is our spot. It's our place. It's where I told you about losing my virginity. And you told me about losing yours. We've stayed up late studying here. We've had all the big talks here. Kinds, religion, college, everything. It's holy ground. Listen, I don't care who you pick to be your really good friend, but you better not bring her here. History mean anything to you? Oh, it does. I... What? I don't know. This is hard. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You could have given me the silent treatment for eight months and talked shit behind my back while I went crazy trying to figure out what happened. That's how normal people end friendships. You're the one who wanted to turn it into the Geneva Convention. Okay. So we're agreed. Blueberry Hills is off limits. Yeah. Okay. Where should I sign? Well, we can't sign it like this. Why not? It's all scribbles. It should be typed up and legally so that it at least looks legible. So, who's going to do that? I guess I will. So, until then, verbal agreement? I don't trust those. No one ever agrees on what was actually agreed upon. That's why you get things in writing. I mean, I'm willing to wait if you are. I guess. At least until I get this typed up. Right. You know? Okay. Wait, I'm confused. So are we still friends? Well, until we sign this, technically, yeah. We are. Does that mean you're still coming over this weekend? Oh. Because I'll just be hanging out, so if you don't finish it by then, I don't know. I got a lot of homework and rehearsal, so maybe I won't get to it. We'll see. Or if you do finish, you could bring it over. We could hang out and sign it before you leave. Okay. Whatever. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Rachel Baumgartner? Okay, first of all, I was trashed beyond reason. <laughs>